Hi guys, this is Introducing Emmy, and I wanted to do a quick object tutorial in SketchUp or SketchUp Make, depending on which version you have. Uh, SketchUp is a free, uh, very simple polygon modeling tool. Uh, it's used by Google popularly to make like buildings and stuff for Google Earth and Google Maps and things like that. But I use it to make props for my comics and sets and things like that. And I thought a really easy way to show how the program works is to sculpt a book. So that's what we're going to do today. And uh, we're only going to need three tools. And they are the rectangle polygon tool, uh, the two point arc tool, which is like this little curve, and then the push and pull tool, which uh, these three are the ones I use the most commonly. So when you start the program, there's probably going to be like a figure standing here. I just delete that. <laughs> you don't need that guy. And the first thing we'll do is we're going to make a polygon on the ground. Now, since we're modeling a book, you can decide how big or how small you want your book. And you just click and drag it out. And I use books a lot in my comics, so it's a good prop to have and a good prop to work on for a beginner. Next, we're going to select the push and pull tool and we're going to just grab the top. You know which part is highlighted from all of these little dots. Uh, it might look a little strange because of my rendering software and you can just push and pull and make it as big or as small, as thick or as thin of a book as you want. Next, we're going to select the polygon tool again. And this time we are going to make the pages of the book kind of sandwiched inside. And uh, you can adjust this later if you need to. I, I'm just kind of roughing it out. It doesn't have to be exact. This is just like a reference prop. It doesn't have to be perfect for your comic. Uh, next, we're gonna go to the next side and you kind of, you click and hold your mouse here and the dot will turn to green. It's a little hard to see, but that's what happens. And then you let it drag down along this spine, this line of a polygon, till it clings to the next point. This way the page, the pages will be nice and even and the box will turn to red to let you know that it's aligning to another polygon that you've already set up. Now, uh, without following along yourself in the program, this is a little hard to um, get a feel for unless you're doing it, you know, like you're following along. <laughs> and then, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So yeah, we'll just do about that far. Now, if you want to get really precise, you can measure and figure out like how far away uh, this, this was from this corner and then this was from this corner, but you're not going to really see it. And again, we're making something kind of simple here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to reselect the push and pull tool. And we're just going to push the pages in slightly because if you look at a book, you know, the pages are kind of um, they don't go right out to the edges of the cover. They're kind of chopped in a little bit. Okay, so here uh, is another thing we're going to do. If you want, you can clean up these little marks that are left from pushing and pulling. Um, I don't really care, but <laughs> if you feel like deleting those, you just select them with the um, cursor tool, which is like a black arrow, and you just delete them. But since they weren't really part of our tutorial, you don't really need to worry about them. So again, we're going to select the curve tool. And I should say, we're going to select the curve tool. And then again, we're going to let it cling to this inner point here. And your dot will turn green. And it will say end point. And then you go down and click again. Now, following along the spine of the book, and you can tell you're following along because it will say on face and that little line in the center of the curve will turn red. I believe it only does that if it's clinging to another surface. So uh, decide how deep you want this curve. You know, maybe if you're doing like an old tome, you want like a really deep, like well-worn cut out sort of a thing. I'm gonna do a little shallower of a, a dip because I think the kind of book I'm looking at is gonna be a little newer of a book, you know. And we're gonna push this little sliver until it hits the end. And you'll see it say offset limited to and it'll give you some measurements. Don't worry about that. Just click again and it will delete it. So now part of your book's cut out and that, that's lovely. And um, you know what? Let's get a little more detailed here. And let's do another curve. Let's let it cling. Hold on a second. 
find the end point and then carefully drag down the face. This is so that it's nice and even. You'll see like a light dotted blue line and click. And we're going to go back up. Let it touch. It should try to find it again. This is always, there we go. It's always a little fickle. And let them align again. And then same process. This is kind of like where, um, I forget what the technical term for this is on a book, but this is like the part that has the threads and everything in it. And we're just going to cut that out. It's a little bigger than I would like, but that's fine. And just to kind of smooth it off a little bit more, we are just going to make another curve. Let it touch the corner a little. Another curve, let it touch the corner a little bit. And same deal. Click with your push and pull tool. Drag to the end. And I got to change my angle a little bit so I can see all the way and drag to the end. There you go. That's pretty much how I do all my sculpting in um, SketchUp. And if you need to, you can hit Control A and then using the scale tool, you can kind of make it a shorter book or a fatter book. Just be forewarned. It will change your proportions slightly from like what you started with. And yeah, and that's how I make props for my comics and references and whatnot. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you want to see more about how to make slightly more complicated objects in SketchUp, then just say a book, let me know, and I can do that. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye!